This is Karen Ramsey of Super Healthy Children, and I am here with Harley Johnstone, Dorian Ryder from Australia, here in New Jersey. And he did a talk tonight here um, in my home, and um, just really excited to have him here. Um, we were both at the Woodstock Fruit Festival um, up in the Adirondacks in New York, and uh, Harley did a whole bunch of talks there. And so uh, this evening you were talking about what fuels you when you run, when you bike. Can you talk a little bit about that? Essentially my fuel I use on the bike or on the run is the same as on the computer or talking to people. Which my preference is sweet, sugary fruit. Bananas are great. My favorite on the go fruit would be the date. The organic dates will be put out. I try to eat four or five per hour when I'm on the go. So that would be my preference. Beer. What kind of dates? Organic medjules, organic baris, organic deglet nor. Basically any organic date I can get. The reason why I prefer the organic dates is they taste better, typically. Right, I know you said that for you, that taste is all about the nutrition mm -hmm. of the fruit as well, right? I never heard it put that way before, mm -hmm. that, you know, because usually people are looking for organic. But you said that it's more important that taste. the taste, and, and so why is that? Why is it more nutritious? I always thought that the organic food would be much better. Yeah, but that's what I used to think as well, but the, the plant, the fruit, is the way the plant gets its better seed. And animals in nature, they love sweet fruits. The fruit bats are a sweet animal. They love, they need the sugar. The, the squirrels and the, the skunk and a lot of these animals, they rely on the sweet foods to provide carbohydrate calories for them, especially the fruit bats, especially the parrots and various fruit eating birds. So the, the tree that can produce the, the sweet fruit, the sweet terra fruit will have your precedence and dominance over the other trees that don't produce enough, enough sugar. Hmm. So the animal, let's say the fruit bat, let's use a fruit bat example, an animal that gets exclusively 100% of its calories from sweet fruit or nectar, that animal will get more energy to defend its territory, to find a mate, to fly away from predators if it's getting enough calories from the trees. Hmm. So that that, that, that's nature's design, is to push as much sugar as it can so that pollinator animal gets to spread that pollen or seed far and wide. Mm. And the, and the so tree. the fruit's got to really taste good for Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Mm. And that's the same in, in, I buy fruit for taste versus if it's organic. Yeah, sure, organic's generally better because it's grown in better quality soil, but at the end of the day it comes down to taste. If there's no taste in the fruit, there's, there's a lot less nutrition than what there should be. Mm. And what is your take on you know that uh, that some people say that too much fruit is not good, that it can even you know it's been said that it can even cause cancer. What is your take on this? It's uh, I mean I've had late nights for every day for the last two weeks I think, and a lot of people who say that you need too much fruit, they also say you need to you need to sleep less. <laughs> Uh, um, it's, it's just nonsense. If fruit gave you cancer, then we'd all be dead from cancer. Because we eat probably more fruit in two or three days than the average Australian or American eats in a year. You know? right. wow. And so if you accumulate that over 5, 10, 15 years, that's, that's a lot of fruit. So hmm. it's, 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 it's nonsense. One of the things that you didn't talk about too much tonight was water mm -hmm. and how much water. Mm. What is your recommendation for that? I recommend drink enough water so your urine is clear. If your urine is yellow or straw, you need to drink more. I aim for at least 10 times a day clear urination, and I aim for at least trying to fill up a you know, 32 ounce bottle at night time you know, when I'm sleeping. Okay, so you drink even at night? If my mouth's dry, I'll drink. Mm -hmm. okay. but I never wait for thirst. If my mouth's a bit dry, put some water in there. Another thing for dental hygiene to have a moist mouth because a dry mouth, the, the uh, saliva is a bit more acidic. You can set us up with cavities having mm. a dry mouth. So definitely having a bottle 
Just a little sip bottle by your bed at night time if you wake up with dry mouth. Have a sip, go back to sleep. Yeah, that's a great suggestion. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And then you wake up and you have a fresh mouth in the morning. It's a lot better. Another thing with the sugar thing and the cancer, Dr. Max Gerson, like everybody uses Max Gerson as the, the model, but what diet did Max Gerson promote? High carb, low fat, low protein, sugar from beetroots, carrots and apples. Sugar, sugar, sugar. So anyone who says, we use Dr. Max Gerson as the model, yet don't eat fruit, got too much sugar. So all Max Gerson, he promoted a 95-5 diet to help with breast cancer. 95% carbohydrate, so 90% carbs, 5% fat and protein in terms of total calories. Wow, that's even like more than the 80-10-10. Exactly. So it's <laughs> more sugar than 80-10-10. Just huh. a little bit more. And that's Max Gerson's recommendations. Wow. And the, and the results speak for themselves. Yeah. And so uh, you were talking about supplementation mm -hmm. and that really the only supplement that you highly recommend is B12. Mm -hmm. And so how can people make sure that they're getting enough B12 and what are some of the things that they might want to observe if their, you know, if their bodies aren't taking in enough B12? It's a tough one, but there's a very fine line between being, you know, aware of it versus being a hypochondriac. So, I'm a fan of the B12 intramuscular shots. You can give them to yourself and then take 30 seconds. You can do one every two months or so. But again, it depends on the individual. So, for me to give a generic prescription, it would be inaccurate because it's one person's needs might be higher than another person's needs. So there's a good book to read called uh, Could It Be B12 by Sally Patchelock. So I'd recommend reading that book and then make your own conclusions, do your own homework. And for, for me, I do a bit, I give myself a 1,000 microgram B12 shot every two months, around about. So it takes me 30 seconds, done, easy. And do you feel a difference? I don't feel any difference, but on paper, definitely notice a difference there. With my hemoglobin went up, homocysteine went down, B12 cell went up. So your body is responding? Definitely. Wow. Definitely. So some people might say sublinguals versus shots. I'd say that I've never actually seen anyone's B12 levels go up with homocysteine go down via the sublingual B12 supplementation. Some people say it can work, but I'm a big fan of certainty, so I use B12 shots. Mm. Okay. And they're, they're pretty painless, just easy. Yeah. And where you live in Australia, um, are plenty of raw fruits and vegetables available there? If you, if you know where to go, you can, you can get enough, but if you're a tourist, it'd be very tough. Really? Yeah, very tough. Because unfortunately, we have a very fruit phobic society in Australia where people are like, fruit makes you fat, fruit gives you diabetes, <laughs> whatever. But everyone's fat and got, ain't got diabetes in Australia anyway. And there's only maybe four or five of us in Australia eat up to 30 bananas a day. So it's, it's, it's a crazy yeah. situation. But. Right, well I think it's that way here as well. Yeah. So, wow. Is there anything else that you would like to tell us about you? And could you also give your website? And you know, you um, get great response to your YouTube videos. Maybe you can say something about that. My uh, YouTube channel is DuranRiders.com. No, sorry, it's been late night. My YouTube channel is Duran Riders. My uh, website, our website, freely, my partner, 30BananasAday.com. And then you can check us out on Facebook. Just look, look us up, Google us up, you'll find us. My tip for people interested in the raw food lifestyle would be get enough calories from your favourite sweet fruits, be it bananas, dates, mangoes, melons, whatever. Get enough calories every day. You can't eat too much fruit. You eat it too fast, you eat it too late at night, you can't eat too much overall. So fruit keeps you slim, keeps you healthy, get outside, use your body a bit, get a bit of sunshine, live your purpose, live with passion, mm -hmm. stay hydrated. Thank you Thanks so guys. much, Harley. No worries. <laughs>